Hi Virgo, this is going to be your art channeled message and tarot reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cross watchers are welcome. There's really no time stamp to this. I guess you could just call it October 2020 or end of October. But if this ever finds you after, that is fine. You can watch it whenever you want to. The, I always like to say there's no rules to my readings. If it resonates, it resonates. So that's cool. What I started drawing for you was an eerie looking animal iris or eyeball. <laughs> then I got a peace sign. That's what it formed into. Some of you are hippies or a part of hippie culture, perhaps even look like one. You get that often. You promote a peaceful lifestyle, but more importantly, you live that too. You practice what you preach. I'm seeing hair on the longer spectrum. Then I got health. You're really trying to take care of yourselves. You do a good job of taking care of yourselves. If you haven't heard that, that people haven't praised you for that, now I am because you're doing a good job. Especially during a pandemic. I feel like your immune system is good. Doing a good job. <laughs> Your hair is very healthy as well. I did say long hair. Your, long, your hair is very long, silky, shiny. Really keep yourself up and that's really important. I heard that song, Heaven is a place on earth. Then I saw a globe with a peace sign over the top. Virgo, you desire world peace. You wish the world was a happier place. Sounds really stupid and cliche for a reading, but it's really important to you. <laughs> then I heard the lyrics, heaven is a place on earth. They say in heaven, love comes first. There's strong emphasis on the afterlife here. You find yourself thinking quite a lot about heaven, what comes after death. You believe that the afterlife must be better than the hell we're living in. That's deep and also very true. The world, honestly, the world is up for perspective. You always want to stay positive, blah, blah, blah. But if we're being honest, the world is a vicious place. To you, I feel like you, you say this a lot, like the world is hell. What 2020 is like one huge tower moment hell. <laughs> That's what it feels like. You just want love to come first. Like, where is the love? You're very, you're, you're just definitely sensitive to world issues and problems. You, you want to make a difference. You want to, I don't want to say trigger world peace. You want to con contribute to world peace. So a lot of you could partake in volunteering or good causes. You getting your voting this election. And you're also, what's the word I'm looking for? rallies, protests, you, partic you participate in that a lot. It's a, it's a very strong expression of making a difference, and I agree. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people, you know those people that are always like, you can't change anything, the world is just what it is, but you don't, you care very deeply about it. It's like you're an empath, you're very, you're very sensitive, and I was getting this in the Taurus reading as well, but in, di in a different way. You're very sensitive to the horrific things that are having happening around you and you wish you could just make it all stop and I f I felt that I feel like everybody felt that way at some point just want it all to stop like where is the love love should come first I think it actually makes you very emotional you're very sensitive to these types of things it's like you're watching the world burn and you don't like that one bit Instead of being upset that you're lacking romantic love or something, it's like you're upset that the world lacks love. That's what your main focus is. You hate that the world lacks love as like a collective consciousness. You wish the collective or like the world as a whole would just be more conscious. Operate from the soul level. So the soul is pure love and consciousness. You just want people to be more aware. Operate from a good standpoint instead of hate, hatred, 
racism. Racism is a big one. It's very prevalent. We have a, we have a, I don't want to get into politics, but we have a president that encourages that kind of behavior. And it's, it's just, I understand. It's like, can we promote peace, not hate? Can we put love first? Why must the world be hell and the afterlife, afterlife looks so much better? It's almost like you're trying to say, you could say this a lot, like the afterlife would be so much better than hell on earth. <laughs> then I heard the song, Where is the Love by the Black Eyed Peas? That strongly depicts how you feel. It's like, what's wrong with the world? Why can't we fix it? One of the lyrics from that song I heard was, people killing, people dying, children hurting, and they're crying. If you, and then the next lyric after that is, if you practice what you preach. I was like, oh my god, wait. I said that in the beginning. I didn't even intend on getting this song, and I completely forgot that one of the lyrics was, practice what you preach. Didn't I say in the beginning, you practice what you preach? When you say you want love, you give love. You reflect what you say, you back up what you say. You're just, it's not a front, you know what I mean? It's, you know how some people, it's all about performance, like performance activism. You see that, you see that a lot in pop culture, celebrities. I always like to say, you never really know who you're looking up to. Even, even on like YouTube, no hate to anybody, it's just always look deeper. Cause some people are about it, some are not. But I feel like whoever I'm talking to, this reading, you definitely are. You're it's like it's like your love inside out. Like you truly are peace. And not you want to promote world peace. You just want to pay it forward. This is a beautiful reading and a beautiful message. It's all coming together. Um, I almost want to shed a tear. That's how moved you are by issues that don't even have anything to do with you. I feel like you, you definitely know how to, you're like, it's like you're just as sensitive as if it were affecting you, even if it isn't. Like racism. I feel like some of you, doesn't matter what race you are, it's like, you just want equality. That's a good example. Wow. I think I'm gonna pull an oracle card. See what the heart of the reading is, if we can get any more information. I feel like in general, Virgo, you're just trying to make a difference, and I feel like you are. I'm also getting with the afterlife thing. It's like before you die, you want people to hear your voice, you want to make positive change. Like you want it to all be worthwhile. That's all you care about. It's like before I die. Before I get old, I want to do something for people, something big, something life changing. And I think you can do it. I feel like some of you have really big dreams, but those dreams will benefit everybody. Public speaking, maybe you, you could even take that to YouTube, you want to give people advice. Or it could be even bigger than that, like you want to be president, or you want to maybe be a therapist, a theorist, kind of like, I always think of theorists as like Alan Watts, and Eckhart Tolle is a good one. Wise beyond, the, wise beyond, beyond their years. And that there, those two are people I consider the ones that practice what they preach, like you do. You can also be inspired by those people. I don't know why I'm shuffling for so long. I guess I had more, more to say. Ooh. Oh my. No peace like home. <laughs> promoting world peace. I feel it's like you're promoting peace from your home. Or from... Somewhere you, no one would su suspect. So you definitely, this could be like you're making videos at home or you're creating something, you're working on something in private. Something that goes on at home or in private 
but you're still hot pointing people. So this could definitely be a platform you use or you, someone, someone here writes a lot. Could be writing a book, a self-help book. It's like no peace like home. I feel like also the, the outside world makes you so sensitive. Remember I said like shed a tear that you could be somewhat of a, I don't want to say recluse, but it's like I'd rather be at home than out there. Literally, I'm getting kind of like Shrek vibes. It's like the people out there are just not good. I don't like what I see. Every time I leave the house, it's like I see something else I don't like. But it's like you're still shedding the light. You're trying to shed light on a very important issue that no one talks about. It's like you're trying to get people to see it. But I, th I think it's through a platform. I don't really think you're doing it anywhere. It's like you're hiding. This could be like an anonymous help. You're helping someone in an anonymous way. Five, five is also change. You're promoting change. You're already promoting peace. You're changing the world. And that's what you want to do. And that's amazing. Perfect card to get. It also reminds me of Up, that card. You're ascending to new heights. You're following your dreams and you're slowly getting there. Okay, I'm gonna shuffle my cards like I always do and then do my spread. No play, no peace like home. That's funny. It's like you're, you're, you're definitely the hermit type. You're so sensitive and empathic that you, this sounds exactly like my Taurus reading, but it's not that similar. It's like you guys need time to recharge. You, you get like the raw, the raw image, the raw view. It's like the raw glasses of the world. It's not rose colored glasses. It's what the wo world really is. You're very aware and very self-aware. I'm getting you also know when it's not your place, that's weird. You don't like to bombard people. So maybe that's why this is anonymous. It's not about the ego with getting credit for it. You just do it because you want to. Wow, I like that. Because you're a hippie. I'm almost getting, getting you were a hippie or you like, like hippie culture where people view you that way. You promote peace. And that's what people know you for. That's what you're known for. Definitely could be a public figure. But an anonymous one. Maybe you don't post pictures of yourself. Yada, yada, yada. Knight of Pentacles reversed. The Emperor. That was almost in reverse, but we're taking it upright. reversed bottom of the deck six of pentacles wanting to help people it's like charity work you're definitely doing charity work also, since that looks like food, I feel like you're definitely doing, like, you go to food banks, you give people food. I feel like you also help homeless people, but that, again, it's not to get clout or validation. It's not that like you're going to go up there and record it, like, oh, I'm helping homeless people. No. It's definitely more anonymous. You do it. You do it when no one's watching. Kind of like you can do things in your home and no one sees you if you live alone. That's exactly what I'm seeing. Love like there's no one watching. Help people like there's no one watching. It's not performance activism like for some. You know what I mean? Also what I was getting with this is you have a desire to expand but you're not doing it yet. You're realizing that it's like I want to reach more people. I need to re I need to reach more people. And then we have <laughs> four wands can to me is like 
home, homecoming, and then it's, but it's in reverse. I feel like you're realizing you need to expand and leave the comfort, I mean, leave the comfort of your own home, despite it being that hard for you, because you're very sensitive, you see things for what it really is, you see people for what it really is. Remember I said, people are complex. They're not always what you see in the f exterior. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Emperor looks like some kind of... Someone who's power hungry and wants control. Power hungry leader. You view someone as a power hungry leader. And I did mention <laughs> the president. So this is how you view Donald Trump or like the government in general. You think it's all just one big puppet show like this, this is all for show these people are not good people that's how, that's how I'm seeing that so don't shoot me it's just what I'm seeing you're definitely helping other people oh getting your message across helping others by getting your message across that's the overall energy but you desire to get that message across in a bigger way you want a bigger platform not because you want control and you want to be a leader, you want everyone to bow down to you. It's more of like, more people need to see this, more people need to be aware of it. It's very big. Two of Cups. That's what I'm, I'm saying, like friendship. We need more, I'm saying that we need more love thing again. We, we lack love. We lack peace. I was getting home with this. People need to come home to themselves. I'm just getting also, you feel like more people should spend more time alone. I feel like you promote that too. It's like, there's nothing wrong with being alone or having fun by yourself, vibing at home, being in peace, being in quiet. You feel like everyone's on the, out on the go. I think I, I think I know how to say this. Like everyone, everyone's lifestyles are so quick. Quick, like opposite, the opposite of the Knight of Pentacles. No one wants to take their time to get where they are. So at the same time, you want you want things to get go faster. You want people to hear your message, your point of views, but you also don't want to rush it or be inauthentic. Ooh, Nine of Swords reversed. I'm getting that sensitivity thing again. It's really hard. I feel like you sometimes you struggle with insomnia, like you can't sleep because these the state of the universe bothers you that much. I think also you have a lot of racing thoughts, a lot of racing ideas. I feel like this also finds you at night, like in your sleep. You wake up in like night terrors, or you can even get predictions in your sleep, like how the world's really going to be. Or you see something that's scary, like how, something 20 years from now, and you're like, oh my god. I could definitely see us getting there if we don't change. Five plus zero, five, change. Change is needed. You want to change the world. Okay, I'm gonna get another card. And that's the end of the reading. I'm just seeing someone very anxious. That's what this can be. Anxious running thoughts. It's like, how can I do this? What can I do? It's almost like a helpless thing. You know how I was getting that thing like someone tells you, it's like, why do you even try? You're not gonna change the world. It just is what it is. Why are you so affected by things that don't affect you? Because you want equality. The scales, that's what I'm seeing. Equality. You don't you don't like the racism, the segregations, like high class, low class. You want everyone to be equal. You want everyone to get a fair chance. I feel like you're also fighting for basic rights, somehow. Really into politics. Message in a bottle. The message isn't out yet. It's a secret message. You're waiting for someone to find it. Ooh, I'm also getting a lot of you. This is a really little message, but you leave rocks. You know, some people leave rocks around to be found or like little messages. So you're leaving your own message in a bottle somewhere. It's anonymous. It's anonymous. What's that inside of there? Is that a, it's an old fashioned telephone inside of a bottle. It could be a voice recording. You talk anonymously, but people hear your voice. It's a message in a bottle. And then this is five and one, which is six. 
six comes after five. People are very happy with this. Or you're happy with the results that this caused. Your message is getting across. You feel much better, I feel. I feel like you're getting across to people. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is the world the way it is? That's what I'm seeing. You're very knowledgeable. You know what you're talking about. And didn't they say in the beginning a self-help book? Could we definitely be writing a self-help book or just writing your thoughts on a platform and it's working. People are really like really like your point of view. They they see potential in you. And honestly, so do I. <laughs> I really like this. It's like working hard from home. Or working hard in private. You don't desire praise. Treasure Island. It's another beach theme. Remember I got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and I said you desire a slow pace and you wish other people would stop putting so much pressure on themselves and just take one step at a time? I feel like that's you, the turtle. This message got across slowly. It's like you slowly built up the momentum, maybe the followers, the confidence to do this. So it's a treasure chest. It's the big opening. You're finally done with something and you're ready to present it to the world. The phone's in the bottle and then the bottle's open. The message is out. The secret is out. And I feel like it's causing people to question the norm. To go against the norm. Because everyone's usually by the book. By the book or by the person. They listen to the wrong people. This is a lot like my Taurus reading, but I mean, two earth signs, so maybe you have Virgo and Taurus in your chart. It's like questioning things. Why is this happening? Or you're making other people question it too. Okay, Virgo, that's the end of your reading. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe if it resonated. Really see. <laughs> You're ch making changes, even if you don't think you are. This took a while. Whatever you're working on took a long time, and it's causing people to question things too and look at your perspective deeply. And this could be a book. Or, or you want to write a book and you're not sure if it would be successful, please write a book. Write a book on your experiences. Write a book on maybe you're exposing exposing the truth maybe you see visions it's really interesting but please share it you could also be a fellow light worker and if you are i wish you luck okay guys bye